What is going on, Brian? My name is Sharon Steve. Now today I'm bringing something a little bit different. This is actually a replay from my first day of playing Warthorn on PC. And I know what you guys are thinking. Why are you even playing this? Why the hell are you even playing Warthorn? Well, reason? I just fucking love playing Warthorn. And also, I haven't played it in a very fucking long time. Now the last time I played this, it was on PS4. But my PS4 is really old and it's not working as well as it used to. Okay, I got a new rough right here. Now I'm tailing a M3F right here. It's kind of a shit aircraft. She was one of the first high-grade aircraft we launched from flight deck. Well, not the first. You can obviously see. That uh, aircraft that I was flying right there was an HD-51. Get out here. Hit the silk. I'm gonna admit, early on I wasn't really the best. As you can see right there, there's some uh, flag right there in the replay system. But, regardless, I wanted to play, and once I spawned back in, I almost collided with the with an I-15 right there. But of course, I did my best and I made my just in the nick of time. So, right here, I ended up seeing a P-26 right off my wing right there, but he immediately turned my attention to this Fury initially until he crashed into the ground. Thus I averted my attention to the P-26. I could do probably a, a whole video on the P-26A, but unfortunately that video would probably go maybe about maybe two minutes. I mean, this aircraft was called the Pea Shooter because of how small its guns were. Right here at Fort First, it didn't score a single hit. You could zoom up and pull right on the six. And I clicked this tail right there so it wasn't around. That's my second kill. I'm flying right towards that melee. I see another HE-51 up there. Trying to go after the aircraft they're trying to take me down earlier. Here's a control player. As you can see by the controller icon right next to his name. I've fired off a couple of rounds, but I was too far out of range. I got a little closer, start pouring the light again. No hits. Roll right to the side. It flies right past me. Of course, I got this hit right here, and he's trying to get into the middle of us. But he almost gets himself shot down. I didn't get credit for the kill, but I did the most damage. Down here, I got my 15. Fired a few rounds into his back. First of the plane. And he goes down, third kill, and then I turn my attention to the hit rod. Immediately full on. He's down, fourth kill of the match. And that's what she up there. I tried to get a shot on him, but I couldn't. And I focused myself on the other movie shooter. And I think I saw how he was able to do this. And I was thinking about dying on him right there, but I couldn't because I would have been right in front of that Nerod's gun sights. So I went out for another pass. Dived down on him above. Pulled in a few rounds. Nothing happens. And I did not get credit for the kill again, unfortunately. Pull up like this, and thank god I did, otherwise that gun would have shot me dead. Go another round into that aircraft at the bottom, 50 kill of the match, I'm now an ace in this aircraft. And I started going after this gladiator right here, got shot me down for the match, so I tried to shoot him down, but he flies me down. I get taken out from behind, I couldn't tell who it was. But as I look at the kill log, it was another I-15 from Mutual Fan. I think that's his name, Mutual Fan. Now the Chica, 
Artemis, I think this is what it was called, the Chaika. It was such a great aircraft for its time, but by the time of the Second World War, it was horribly outdated. It was close to a World War I era biplane. But regardless, I ended up getting a kill on it. Well, not really, per se. Okay, there's a B-26 coming in, do a head-on. I don't know if some rounds in the one, and I immediately pitch up. I break to the right. Something flies off, I don't know where it flies. I thought it was a control surface, but it wasn't. Okay, I was in a big turn, which I was doing by the way, got a page down button on my keyboard. Fire a few more rounds of one right there. No damage. Zoom over. Drop back on his tail. Six kill. So now, we're gonna keep going down. Right down to the deck, I should say. Now I have an opportunity to go after the beach again, just as told me earlier. And as you can see, on a little bit faster at ground level, I think I-15 is what best at high altitude. And you may notice the red middle goes my aircraft. It's because I took a hit earlier in the fight. Which you can't trust to go guns on. But I managed to get my guns on at a time. You bank around. I had an opportunity to shot, but I forgot to press the trigger. The drop round was six. Seventh kill of the match. P26 going after him with a cloud. No damage. He gets taken out by another fighter on the team. I'll give credit to him. Wait, now that I'm looking at it, the kill log says it's my eighth kill. I don't know how it was my eighth kill, even though I did no damage. There's two more aircraft in the distance, but I'm not going to worry about that. Let's go after this. Here. And I can easily keep up with this guy on a turn, but very off to the pilot. That's my ninth kill of the match. Of course, Beecher Fan is right up above me. He's getting ready to go after the Nimrod on my team. He sets him on fire. And he ends up bailing out. It just Watch how close it's gonna be right before I start making the merge. Yep, there he is. Watch out for the B26 in front of me. And whoa, whoa! Yeah, I'm still trying to get used to it. The replay system. And I'm sorry about my cat in the background. I already fed her. I don't know why she's so uh, loud now. She's not like this whenever I'm here. But that's not the reason why you're here. But I get right on his tail and for some reason he disappears. That's my 10th kill of the match. And just like that, I'm double ace this match. Five kills per aircraft. So with that, that wraps everything up. So, thanks for watching this video. If you liked this video, Leave a thumbs up down below. If you want to see me do more of my own uh, replays later on, let me know. Because I would like to hear your feedback on that. So until then, this is Shan Steen. Out.